hello everyone welcome back to my channel so i'm going to be doing a daily message for the collective we got three piles pile one two and three timestamps are going to be down below don't forget to like this video share this video subscribe to my youtube channel click that little bell button so you can be notified whenever i upload a reading keep in mind that this is general and also a timeless reading let's get into your daily message for those of you who chose pile one let's get into your daily message hold on give me one second let me Put some lotion on my hands. Alright. Sorry about that, you guys. Hands a little ashy, so let's get it right into it. Alright, so for those of you who chose pile one, let's get into it. Alright, so you have numbing, you have spirit of the sun, energy, vitality, resurrection. Interesting. You have your words linger in my mind. You also have pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Interesting. You have past life connection. Your soul remembers this intense connection. In your tarot, we have the king of pentacles, earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn. You have the knight of pentacles. And then you have the queen of cups. Wow. So you definitely could be taking on this queen of cups energy. Even if you're not a water sign or you could have water in your chart. Cancer, Pisces, and or Scorpio. So Spirit is saying for you to pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. It's time for you to go with your intuition. Um, somebody here definitely could be numbing their pain here. This is definitely somebody that I feel that you had a either past life connection with or past relationship with. Because with the Spirit of the Sun, this energy always rem reminds me of somebody like... It's like a resurrection, you know, like somebody resurfacing from the dead, coming back. You know what I mean? So that's the energy that I'm getting. So you definitely could be dealing with an earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn. Um, this person could have had some sort of uh, negative habits or maybe when it comes to like numbing themselves, not really wanting to deal with the pain. Okay, but I'm getting like now this person is like resurrecting, coming back from the dead, slowly but surely wanting to come forward towards you. Um this is definitely somebody that you share some sort of a past life connection with or the connection was very intense, okay? This person is definitely still thinking of you or maybe your words linger in their mind. This is not only a past life connection, but this could be a past, you know, connection, like an ex or somebody that you could have been married to, Um Or maybe somebody that you have a child with or something like that. Okay. Interesting. I feel like this person, because like your words still linger in their mind, it's like they, I feel like they're trying to gain the energy to resurface and to come back brand new and maybe to um, give to you. That's what I'm getting with the Knight of Pentacles. It's like this person is reaching out, you know, wanting to offer you something tangible with the Knight of Pentacles. Very slow moving, yes, but I'm definitely getting this person is, could be trying to work towards something. They're dedicated trying to, um, and this could also be maybe somebody that you have children with you or they were not around or something like that. I'm getting like a resurrecting them coming back. You know, wanting to heal or gaining the energy to come forward, to resurface, to come forward towards you. Um, this person definitely could be working on trying to give you something tangible. I'm especially getting if you have children with this person, because the Queen of Cups is definitely pregnant here in this deck. Very intuitive, but I'm definitely getting, um, I feel like you need to pay attention to the red flags, though. The signs are cautioning you. Spirit is definitely going to be um, maybe wanting you to be more alert here. Interesting. I feel like you're dealing with a fixed sign. Um, interesting. All right. So that's what I have. I'm going to leave it there. This is definitely somebody that you share some sort of a past life connection with. Somebody that you have children with or something. But this person is definitely, slowly but surely, moving forward towards you, okay? So that's what I have for you. If this reading resonated with you in any way, like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you next time. For those of you who chose Pile 2, let's get into your daily message. All right, so you have action. Ooh, okay, so you have spirit of the moon, cycles, visions, and dreams. 
Interesting. I'm not the same person that you remember. You have worth waiting for it. Divine timing is at work in your love life. You have release. Radical acceptance and surrender can help you let go. Interesting. We got the Queen of Swords, the Six of Cups, and the Temperance. Past energy. Okay. Interesting. Oh, we got release. So you're releasing something, no longer letting it hold you back. You're releasing, accepting what is, and you're moving forward or letting go from something. I'm getting a past energy, six of cups, um, or maybe this past energy could be wanting to, to take action towards you. Um, yeah, that's what I'm getting. It says I'm not the same person that you remember. So I'm getting this is either somebody from your past or this could be, yeah, I'm getting... Worth waiting for divine timing is that working your love life. Um, so spirit is definitely working in the background on behalf of either you or of either you or your partner. Could be that maybe your partner still needs some time to work on themselves. Um, could be that your partner needs some time to mature. I'm getting six of cups, innocent, past nostalgia type of energy. Um we got the temperance, Sagittarius energy here. Some of y'all could be dealing with the fire sign. Yeah, Sagittarius or water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Could be an air sign as well, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But I'm getting this is your energy here. Um, kind of, um, yeah. Um, some of y'all could be having dreams or this person from your past may be having dreams about you. I'm getting you definitely release something. You're accepting what it is. You're letting go. And this person... Is I feel like they could be either thinking about you, but they're not the same person that you re that you remember. So I'm getting this is someone from your past. Interesting. Either you're taking on this witchy vibe, or this could be somebody who's into like I don't know why I'm getting like just like a witchy vibe here with these cards, um, especially with the spirit of the moon cycles and visions and dreams. Yeah, I'm getting this is either somebody that you have a cycle with or something like that. And this could be somebody from your past. OK, but what the work waiting for divine timing is that work in your love life spirit is definitely working in the background. And that's what I'm getting to with the temperance card balancing some things. OK, always look at the temperance as like the angel. OK. Um, trying to balance some things um, in between the physical and the um, between the, the, the physical and the um, other side, you know, trying to balance the things, trying to get a good balance here, um, doing things in moderation, just trying to get that right balance. That's what I'm getting with that energy. So I feel like that definitely could be spirit in the background working maybe on your partner. Cause I feel like this person is not the same person that you remember. So maybe they could have changed in some way. Um, but again, I feel like this is definitely your energy coming through strong as the queen of swords, whether or not you have this energy in your chart, but I just, I love the fucking queen of swords, very truthful, honest, intelligent, independent, all of those great things, um, great qualities, you know what I mean? Like that's what I'm getting with this energy. And so, yeah, this person from your past definitely could be dreaming about you. I feel like they do want to take action. They're not the same person that you remember. Okay, they could have grown or matured in some way. Um, but also, like I said, with the worth waiting for, divine timing is at work in your love life. And when this card pops up in a reading, just know that spirit is definitely in charge of things working out as far as when it comes to your love life. So whether or not this person from your past wants to resurface or not, again, spirit could be trying to work on this person and or or if that's not the case, then spirit is definitely working in the background. They want you to, um, you know, connect with someone who's for your highest good. So if that makes any sense. All right. If this one resonated with you in any way, like, share, subscribe. We got fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We got water energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We got fire. Fire energy. We got air energy. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. All the elements are here. If this reading resonated with you in any way, like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you next time. For those of you who chose Pile 3, let's get into your daily message. So you have deception. You have spirit of lightning, power, strength, expression. Interesting. Whoa. 
I'm reminded of you constantly. Interesting, you have new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings along with new love again. Wow, a new love or recommitment to love is developing. Okay, so right off the bat, what I'm getting before I even move any further, I'm getting somebody definitely could be hiding how they feel, very deceptive, or not just not not being straightforward, not being open, and not expressing how they feel. This person doesn't have the, the power to express their feelings. So I feel like they are hiding them. This person is constantly reminded of you, but I feel like either you could be in a new relationship. We do have new love here twice we got the five of swords the devil energy and the five of cups wow two fives here definitely talks about change okay so embarrassment humiliation with the five of swords conflict but i always get an energy of like somebody trying to embarrass the other humiliation humiliating the other five of cups some sort of a loss interesting so either this is, either this is, because I feel like if this person is constantly reminded of you and they're not having the inner strength to come forward, they're hiding, being very deceptive, it could be due to this five of swords and the devil energy and the fucking five of cups. Because it looks like you're moving forward. I mean, the five of cups talks to, it speaks of a loss, you know, Emo this is an emotional loss that you're, you know, kind of like focused on, some sort of loss. And it's emotionally getting to you. This could have been due to some sort of deception here. That's what I'm getting like. Maybe somebody is constantly reminded of you. Maybe because they betrayed you in some way. And because I feel like with this new love, with this two energies talking about new love, I feel like you could be developing new love with someone else. And maybe this person who deceived you or um, manipulated you in any way, they could be feeling embarrassed. They could be feeling humiliated. Maybe they've gotten a taste of their own medicine, but I feel like this person is, um, they don't have the courage to face you. Interesting. I'm getting a little obsessive type of energy here with the devil energy. I feel like because this person is like being very deceptive, not really showing themselves, I feel like there could be some sort of obsession here with the devil energy. Maybe they could be obsessively watching you and now they feel embarrassed and humiliated because they didn't express their feelings. That's what I'm getting. And now that they are con they are constantly reminded of you, that's what I'm getting. Interesting. Yeah. You could be in a new relationship or this person could see. I feel like they could be in the background lurking, watching a new. Yeah, because look, even with this uh, spirit of the lightning, there's a face here. There's somebody, like, who's shocked. I mean, the face just looks a little shocking to me, like, you know. Yeah, but I am getting, like, embarrassment, humiliation. This person is embarrassed and humiliated. Maybe they tried to take advantage of you. Maybe they thought that they were powerful enough to um, deceive you. Yeah, I'm getting either something backfiring on this person Maybe they were overly confident within themselves, but now they're constantly reminded of you. I'm just getting them feeling embarrassed, humiliated. There's a loss in love. Now you're moving forward. Now this person is obsessively, like, I don't want to say crying, but that's what it feels like to me. Somebody is obsessively hurt over this loss. Um... Yeah, because they didn't have the strength enough to be honest. I feel like they were trying to win by any means necessary. They were trying to one-up you or walk away the winner. That's what I'm getting with this. Interesting, but now you got new love here. You could be developing new love with someone else, and now this person is just, they have no choice but to sit back and watch, and they're embarrassed. You know, they're humiliated. They're constantly reminded of you. Or what you guys could have had together. Um, they're not showing this. But this is what the cards are saying. Like somebody is really. Ooh, Lord. That is interesting. Two fives though talks about change. Fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Water energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Air energy. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Could be any sign. If this one resonated with you in any way. Like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you next time.